Hi. Today's March 19th, 2021, and this is my post from March 19th, 2020. Let's look at this together, shall we? I posted this. Uh, it was an article from AccuWeather. Um, don't knock AccuWeather. This was a good article. Um, and this was uh, essentially pointing out what most of us, and I would include most everyone, um, assumed to be true about this virus, which seems to be true about most other viruses, which is high temperatures and high relative humidity uh, do not bode well for viruses, which is good for us. Um, and there were a lot of assumptions going into this whole COVID thing. Uh, the assumptions that kids would be Petri dishes was thankfully dashed very quickly. Um, this one, on the other hand, the fact that, you know, uh, summer is, you know, we tend to not get colds or flu in the summer. You certainly can. Um, I've certainly had many a summer cold, and so have you. Um, and I've even had the flu in the summer a couple times. So it's not, you know, it's not perfect, but um, there is a dip. There's seasonality here, and that's the key to this, okay? Um, and again, the whole point of this is me looking back I want to see how I did. I want to see what my track record was on this. And uh, this was a good article. This still holds up. So once again, fact check, true. Now, I posted this one as well on the 19th. This one's a little bit more important, right? This is uh, piggybacking on my post from a couple days ago. Well, a year and a couple days ago, which was uh, sounding the alarm on the tests. And I went into this a bit on my previous video. Um, but at this point, again, this was three days into the lockdown now, I was getting the stinking sneaky suspicion that we weren't going about this in a very smart way. And I could already see that the testing was probably not going to be used in a sober, rational way. Um, it was going to be abused and used for narrative control and for politics and all the, the horrible, horrible things that have, you know, thrown us off the rails, you know, for, for all this time. Um, and, and maybe for a long while, unfortunately. Um, but this post here uh, is a, a real clear politics uh, post. Again, real, um, RCP is a great site. Um, they really do have quality content. It's pretty nonpartisan, actually. It's pretty bipartisan and nonpartisan. Um, you know, they don't just do polls. They don't just do elections. Um, they really do have a really good collection of, they curate a lot of articles from the left and the right and the center or wherever, um, but they also have some writers on staff. Um, this was one of their articles, and this was literally entitled The Perils of Mass Coronavirus Testing, and this was my exact point. I made this point of this article three days prior. It's not like I'm Nostradamus or anything, well, although he was not very accurate. Um, but again, it's a lot of these things that I did, a lot of these calls that I made, a lot of these opinions that I had, um, in my opinion, were not that hard to arrive at. Um, yeah, I think that they're just common sense, right? I think that if you are a semi-smart person and you kind of look at the landscape and you read a few things and you talk to a few people and you sort of weigh, you know, what this person says versus this person says or this study versus this study, um, this is not a long walk. Right, and honestly, it was becoming very obvious that we were about to abuse the testing. Um, and once again, I think that you know history proves this absolutely true. We have abused this testing to amazing lengths for a year. You know, CNN would be out of business had it not been for Corona testing and their little, you know, Chiron, you know, announcing the number of tests every day. Um, you know, so unhelpful. And it's such a shame because testing is a very valuable tool. The problem is, is that our tests are not perfect. There's, they're never going to be perfect. But at this point in time, we were using these P PCR tests for the most part, and we were cranking up the cycle so much that it was confusing um, a positive from a, it, it just, it was not used correctly, and we know it, and we've known it for a year. And the fact that people are still refusing to admit that our testing was flawed and our testing strategy was flawed, and especially the media narrative and the media framing of the testing, um, 
was not only unhelpful, I would argue that it was severely damaging. Um, and so did Real Clear Politics. All right, so there you have it. March 19th, 2020, my post, fact check, true.